Hey, what's up, guys? Kyle here. Um, I want to give my quick thoughts on uh, King of the Ring, uh, Wheat Barrett. Just one, or we may now call him King Barrett. Um, first of all, uh, first off, I'm glad that they brought back the King of the Ring uh, concept. I think WWE needs to do this, um, if not yearly, at least every other year, bring back the King of the Ring. Um, I know they started off on Raw last night. And then the rest of the tournament uh, transitioned over to the live network. Um, I'm don't ne not necessarily sure how I feel about that just yet. I think they needed to reintroduce the King of the Ring first via television. Then once you know the current generation of fans become familiarized with the concept of King of the Ring, then maybe. If you want, you could put it on the network or the rest of the tournament on the network, um, just so that the network can have more uh, programs, original programming. So I don't know if I agree with that, the model of it, at least this early on in the game that they're bringing it back. But anyway, Wade Barrett, one of the king of the ring, and now becoming, I guess you could say, King Barrett. It's okay. I think the one thing I don't like about it, though, I like Wade Barrett. I do. I like Wade Barrett. But the thing to me is Wade Barrett is not really um, reliable. And what I mean by reliable, the guy is injury prone. I mean, how many times have WWE given this guy so many pushes, so many chances and tries um, just for him to get injured? And I would hate for him to get injured again. And his king of the ring push or the momentum that he would get from this will all be uneventful, wasteful, useless. Um, that's just me. Uh, I would have rather had Dean Ambrose win it. Um, that was kind of bogus that how he lost it. I think it would have been better if he would have won it. Um, Adrian Neville, that was the odds on favorite um, in this entire tournament, probably. Uh, I know a lot of people, you know, um, a lot, Adrian, that was getting over with the crowd, um, the, the main audience very quickly. Um, what I don't like is, is how they, I mean, WWE, they've done okay so far with Adrian and booking him. He's, he's been having some, he's getting a lot of TV time, having some good spots and matches. But the one thing I guess I kind of I don't like it, which what I'm saying is that they're have they're having Adrian uh, come close only just to lose, and it seems like this may be a pattern. I don't know if they're going to use this as as a gimmick for Adrian Neville, where they just have him, you know, they have him win a couple of times, but then when you know when the the the, the chips are down and when it's time to win the big one. He doesn't win it. Um, I'm afraid that's how they're going to book Adrian Neville. Uh, I know some people thought that Adrian Neville got, was, they considered him to be buried when he fought uh, Seth Rollins um, in his second uh, appearance. I don't think so, but I just kind of feel that's how they're going to book Adrian Neville for a while. It's just have him, have him win matches, but when it comes to the big, the, the, the big match, he doesn't win it. He comes close, but he don't win it. Um, after a while, I think that would be damaging for Adrian Neville long term if they continue to book him that way. Um, almost kind of like a one, two, three kid, you know, when Shutton, aka Sean Waltman, uh, in his early years in WWE, he I mean, had the one, two, three uh, kid gimmick. You know, good wrestler. Um, he came close, but he never won the big one. I'm afraid this, they're going to kind of book Neville like one, two, three kid, which I think is bad. Um, but all in all, I, I just, I don't know how I feel that way, Barry, <laughs> when in it, I mean, congratulations, sure, but looking at his track re record and his history, when WWE puts him in the spotlight, he always fails in some regard. Not really fail, but he, he gets he gets injured and gets put on the show. Um, I'd be shocked as hell if he can make it up to SummerSlam. If Barry can make it through some, make it to SummerSlam, and maybe a little bit beyond SummerSlam, I'd be shocked. If he does not make it to SummerSlam without getting injured, 
I I think his King of the Ring victory would be in vain. Um, and that's only if he does not get injured before SummerSlam. Hopefully he doesn't. Hopefully I'm not jinking this. You guys know what you think about Barrett winning King of the Ring tonight? Are your thoughts on box below? Subscribe, comment, peace.